All right, today we're going to talk about um, adverbs ending in mente. We have a bunch of them as our vocab words, and instead of just memorizing them as uh, like rapidamente or lentamente, this is the reason how these verbs or adverbs are formed and how you can form other adverbs like them. Uh, in English, um, adverbs that, that end in ly, um, they, they, the English words, let me back up, English words that end in L-Y are like a Spanish equivalent to mente. So every time you see the mente at the end of an adverb, it means it's L-Y. So if I said, El camina lentamente, he walks slowly. Or if I said, El camina rapidamente, we know that rapida comes from rapido, which is quick or fast. So he walks quickly. Um, if this is how you form it, to make them, you take the feminine form of the adjective. Okay, so lento is slow, rapido is fast, so you make it lenta or rapida, and then you make it, so that's the feminine, and then you just add the mente to it. So, this, uh, like unfortunate, okay, desafortunado is the adjective, you change it to desafortunada, and add the mente. So, estas lista para la playa, are you ready for the beach? Desafortunadamente, no. Unfortunately, no. So, it's basically just taking the feminine form of the adjective, adding the uh, mente to it. Anybody have questions on that? No. I'm going to do a couple examples. Oh, that's kind of weird. That's animation came up at the top. Okay. Adverbs tell you um, how an action takes place, quickly, slowly, reluctantly. Makes you know that. Okay. Um, so keeping in mind that it's telling you, oh, hold on a second. Looks like the same thing. What's going on? All right, whatever. If the adverb doesn't have a masculine form um, or, or a feminine form to it, it's just Single, like, um, you just add the mente to it. So, frecuente, that's not masculine or feminine. So, if it can go both ways, you just add the mente to frecuente. So, frecuentemente. That's really the only thing you need to know on top of that. Um, except accents. The accents are always funny. If the adjective has an accent, then it's going to stay when you add the mente. If it didn't have an accent, then you don't need any accents. So, whatever the adjective form is, accent or no accent, Add the A ending, and then add the mente. So the word feliz, happy, has no accent, but um, the word this is funny. The word feliz does not have an accent, become, so it becomes felizmente. But facil does have an accent, so it's going to be facilmente. Both of those are um, not gender specific. They're not masculine or feminine. They kind of go with both. So we uh, just add the mente to it. You don't have to put an A on or anything like that. Easy enough? Preguntas? No. No. Okay. Entonces, abran los libros a página 212. Vamos a hacer actividad 11. Yo siento estrés, ¿eh? 